Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Core Ambition here and welcome to, to, to the channel's first ever q and I know I first announced this like uh, uh, like six or seven months ago. Okay, yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's been a while. But now I've finally gotten around to it. I'm sorry it took so long. I just wanted to wait until I felt like I had enough questions for the Q&A. So yeah, now I think I do. And uh, let's get right into this q and I want to give a huge thank you to anyone that did leave a question. I definitely appreciate it. And yeah, I hope this goes well and I'm down to do another one in the future, but let's begin. All right, let's start off with question number one. What is my favorite blaster and class? I'm assuming this is a Battlefront 2 question. And my favorite Battlefront 2 class would probably, without a doubt, be the assault class. The assault class has always been my favorite in Battlefront 2, most likely because like, compared to the other classes, it just the assault class fits my playstyle the most because sniping i don't like to snipe uh, i i'm not even that good at sniping to be honest i'm, I'm probably trash uh, the officer class i'm not much of like the support player class and the heavy class is okay but when i compare that to the assault class it's just the assault class is way better especially with some of the star cards like the healing star card and the thermal detonator star card love using those so the assault class would definitely be the the one i pick assault class guys is my favorite favorite blaster now honestly the favorite blaster i have in battlefront 2 would probably be the e11d which is actually the post launch blaster for the assault class so that was like the most recently added blaster in battlefront 2 for the assault class the e11d reason i like that is i kind of like using the e11 blaster like the default e11 blaster for the imperials now there's two problems with that uh blaster at number one it's a default blaster, so it doesn't come with any modifications. No modifications come with that blaster. So, I mean, yeah, the E11D comes pretty close to it. Uh, E11D feels a lot like the E11, but the E11D does have modifications. So E11D is the favorite for my assault class. So, yeah, that's a great question. All right, but question number two is, what is my favorite Star Wars movie? Okay, now this is kind of hard, to be honest. Picking the favorite Star Wars movie requires a lot of thought and effort. Like, I mean, I do... No, there are ones, in my opinion, that are better than other ones. But if I had to come down to the most favorite Star Wars movie, it would probably be Empire Strikes Back. Because the Empire Strikes Back is, like, when I think of Star Wars movies, Empire Strikes Back is, like, the most nostalgic. Like, it, it was just, it was an amazing movie when I watched it. I forgot when I watched it, but it was, it's really nostalgic when I look back at, like, the Star Wars movies also i just like a lot of parts of empire strikes back like the battle of hoth was an amazing like uh part of the movie the plot of the movie was amazing and then i also just like most of the scenes at like cloud city as well so yeah empire strikes back definitely my favorite favorite character from that movie is boba fett i mean he boba fett wasn't shown that long in empire strikes back but he's still a great character nonetheless and i definitely like him and yeah definitely favorite movie is empire strikes back if i had to pick up a second one it's probably revenge of the sith but empire strikes back pete's revenge of the sith for me third question another uh what i assume a battlefront question is what is my favorite hero ability now there's so many hero abilities in battlefront 2 but my, my favorite hero ability would probably be retribution retribution is anakin's fourth ability and it's pretty unique because i think anakin's like the only hero that has a fourth ability and yeah he is the chosen one but yeah it's pretty cool and unique ability and it's also cool because it kind of it, it sh when you use it it shows anakin kind of tapping into his dark side basically like force choking enemies so that's really cool um but yeah that's probably my favorite ability i know back like back when anakin came out oh my god like anakin was a really overpowered hero like most of his abilities were so overpowered like day one anakin was oh my god like yo I think I made a video ranting about it because, like, he is, he was pretty powerful at one point. I mean, you could go on insane streaks with this guy, and, yo, know, when you were on, like, the Separatist side, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I just, oh, day one Anakin. But, yeah, Retribution was probably my favorite hero ability. Not that it was, yeah, I mean, it was powerful, not as much anymore when you play the game now. Uh, but, yeah, it's a cool ability and unique. Like, you can't use it, and then it goes on cooldown. You need to get, like, points or, like, kills or just, you have to have the ability to charge up before you use it which is pretty cool all right next question is when did i start my youtube channel what was the first game i ever filmed on youtube and what is my favorite game okay so i think my first youtube video on this channel i do not know when i created this channel 
Um, but the first video I ever posted on this channel was like August uh, 2018. Uh, I believe I want to say August 23rd, but I'm not 100% sure. But August 2018 is the first video I ever filmed. Pretty quick video it was like less than a minute, and I was just introducing myself in the channel. It's insane to think how uh, how far uh, the channel came from 2018 to now. Just insane. Thank you for the support and all that time, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. And the first game I ever filmed on this channel, I, I've had channels before this, but the first game I filmed on this channel, because I don't remember the first game I ever filmed, like, when trying to start out YouTube, but the first game I filmed on this channel was Battlefront 2. That was the first, on the first video, first game I filmed was Battlefront 2, and the majority of this channel was Battlefront 2 content, good old Battlefront 2. Did a lot of cool videos uh, related to Battlefront 2, but then I wanted to switch over to Squadrons. But yeah, Battlefront 2 was definitely the first video I filmed on this channel, and it's like the majority of videos on this channel were Battlefront 2 related. Then Squadrons comes at second, but I don't have nearly enough Squadrons video compared to Battlefront 2 videos. Filmed a few Fallen Order videos, uh, not that many, and then I did do a few non-Star Wars videos, like Anthem and Titanfall, like not enough videos still related to like Battlefront and stuff like that. But and my favorite game will probably be Battlefront 2015. Now, Battlefront 2017 has a lot more stuff, but Battlefront 2015 was way more, like, nostalgic when I think of it, because it was so cool playing. That was actually the reason I got my Xbox One, because I saw the trailer for Battlefront 2015, and I was like, Yo, this game is amazing. This looks so cool. I, I had to get it, and the reason I got my Xbox was because of Battlefront 2015. I got my Xbox One, like, a week or two after Battlefront 2015 released, it, and I got the game with it. And oh yeah, pretty fun memories back back in the day, back in 2015, five years ago. If you think about it, five years ago wasn't that long, but when I think about like five years back in 2015, oh, that was that was a long time ago. But yeah, Battlefront 2015 definitely my favorite game. Easy. All right, next question is a squadrons related question, and the question is, do you know any tactics to get your B-Wing to the enemy flagship constantly? I have trouble staying alive long enough to do any damage to Okay, I remember this question. This question was uh, posted like a few weeks ago. It's a good question, but I really didn't use the B-Wing that often when it came out. I didn't have enough experience with it. I don't use the B-Wing that often. Right now when I play Fleet Battles, which I actually reached Legend on Fleet Battles right now. Probably keep, first of all, keep your power to your speed until you actually get to the capital ship. Then do damage, because if you can stay alive and you reach the like enemy Star Destroyer, you can probably do a ton of damage if you use it correctly. But you definitely need to keep the speed, because going on like it's like base speed is, is not an option. Because if you go there at base speed, there is a good chance enemy fighters are going to see you and you are going to get shredded before you can do any real damage so yeah definitely keep your power to speed you want to try and just boost in onto the enemy star destroyer and also another helpful tip and this one actually is really important try and communicate with your team or ping enemy starfighters because if they can punch a hole and when i mean punch a hole if they can clear out the enemy starfighters then obviously you have a way better chance of actually getting to that star destroyer than if you were just trying to get there because you know, if your team can occupy the enemies, they won't probably focus on you as heavily. You can punt and you have a, an opening, then yeah, definitely you can do the damage. Uh, but yeah, then I feel like you can definitely do way more damage than if your teammates didn't punch a hole. So yeah. But yeah, that's probably my, my two greatest things on how to get your beam into the enemy flagship. Keep power to the speed and hope that your teammates will uh, punch a hole in their defenses uh, and take out those enemy starfighters. So yeah. But yeah, I'm not really using the beam that often right now. Alright, next question is, what is my favorite ship in Squadrons, I'm assuming? So, in Squadrons, I think my favorite class of ship is definitely the Interceptor. However, the favorite ship, like, if I had to pick, it would probably be the A-Wing. Because the A-Wing is so maneuverable. And also, if you can use it correctly, you can definitely shred enemy fighters if you can use it properly. And that's what I've noticed. And it's definitely my favorite ship. Interceptor is my favorite class in general, though, because it's so fast and maneuverable. And on top of that... Yeah, like with the A-Wing, like I just said, if you can use it properly, you can go on, you can do really good for your team. But yeah, if you can like, know how to use the A-Wing correctly or even the TIE Interceptor, then you can get, you can do pretty good uh, stuff with it. So yeah, definitely, definitely the Interceptor class between the two, it's the A-Wing for the New Republic. But yeah, that is actually going to end off this Q&A. This was fun to do. This was, this was pretty fun to do. And yeah, I actually got a hat on because uh, my hair is kind of short right now and I want it to grow out right now. Here, to here. Here's my here right now not that short but mm -mm. but uh yeah it's been core ambition but yeah i definitely want to do another a q a in the future but i just want to give a huge thank you for anyone that did leave a question i really appreciate it you guys made the q a possible and i'm really just i'm thank you for that but yeah if you did enjoy this video consider liking and subscribing to the channel but this has been core ambition peace out